welcome to our channel my dear students today we are going to talk about the very important mechanism in hvz reaction what is that hvz reaction it's nothing but hell wool hard zelsky reaction is otherwise called as hvz reaction so here i am going to talk about the mechanism also okay let's see the reaction what is the reaction here it has a carboxylic acid Okay, so here we have a carboxylic functional group. The carboxylic acid should have alpha hydrogen. So this is a uh, functional group, and this is an alpha hydrogen containing carboxylic acid. That acid is only involved in this kind of HVZ reaction. So here, in presence of a red phosphorus, either I can add uh, halogens like uh, chlorine or bromine. I can add. So accordingly, I will be getting that uh, product. If suppose if I am using uh, chlorine, so I will be getting a product like this okay so here let's see the mechanism so here we have to take a very very little bit amount of a red phosphorus then only it forms its respective halides let's see the mechanism so here initially this r c h 2 c double band o o h is there this is my reactant that is going to react with p x 3 or p c l 3 because if I use red phosphorus, that will be reacting with the halogen to form its respective halides. Phosphorus trihalide will be getting. This phosphorus trihalide will able to chlorinate this. That is what I will be getting. R C H two C double band O C L as a product. Okay, are you able to understand, students? So we are nothing but. Here acid chloride is getting formed. As you know that PCL5, SOCl2, we talk about a lot of tricks regarding this. So now the alcoholic that is a carboxylic acid that is OH group is getting converted into Cl group. Okay, that is what we use to PCL3. We can use PCL5, SOCl2. We do a lot of things. So here the thing is we have to convert this OH into Cl. Now that RCH2Cl, COCl that is. R C H. I'll be writing this as H. Okay. So here you can see this is a H. Okay. C H H and C double band O. So here it is one more C L is there. Okay. So I have a C L. So I have C L is there. That's what I written the product. Now this C L. Okay. The C L is getting formed. Now you can look at the react reagents. This is the reagent now. Now you can look at the reagent. So here it is a chlorine. You compare this carbon. This carbon has a highly electropositive. Why it is highly electropositive? Because the carbon which is attached with oxygen first go. And another one is which is attached with the chlorine. Both are highly electronegative. That's what it can pulls the electron. That's what it may attain a slight positive charge. Not to be slight. So positive charge it may get. If it got a positive charge, this electron will move. Okay, this bond will move like this. Okay, so now that is what this H plus will move leave. Okay, if it leaves H plus, I will be getting a product like this R C H. So here it is. I got negative charge because H plus will move. This bond is getting break, which will take as leaves as H plus. So it leaves its negative charge. One more thing, C. And here it is O minus, and uh, here it is Cl because of uh, because this got positive charge. Okay, now this negative charge and this positive charge will form a double bond. I'll be getting a product like this that is R C H double bond C. Here it is O minus. Here it is Cl. Okay. Are able to understand student? This is very very important one. So because of that highly electronegativity, this carbon attains positive charge. That is what this carbon will want to stabilize. That's what it leaves its better leaving group like H plus. So it want to form a stable compound. Okay, now the product is formed. Now I am getting this kind of intermediate. So this intermediate which is going to react with our halogen. Suppose if I am taking halogen like a uh, Chlorine. So if I am taking a chlorine, Cl, here the Cl is there. Okay. So because of uh, it, uh, it got polarized a delta plus, delta minus. Got positive and negative charge. Now this bond is getting break. 
the bond is getting break it gives negative charge it gives positive charge okay are you able to understand student this is very very simple one and this attracts the positive charge and uh, i'll be getting a product like this the what i'll be getting a product that is r ch here it is a cl is formed and one more thing single bond is there and here i got a positive charge there is no change in positive charge here and uh, here it is o minus is there and here it is cl okay are you able to understand student this is very very important one very very important step now i'll be writing the product these positive and these negative will form a double bond so as such as i'll be getting a product or ch here it is cl and c double bond o cl okay are you able to understand student this is very very important one and usually we react the reaction in presence of water also now we are going to add a water so what water is nothing but there is a o so here it is h here it is h i'll be getting lone pair of electron this lone pair of electron always attacks the positive charge carbon so where is the positive charge carbon because here it is the same condition oxygen is highly electronegative chlorine is highly electronegative that's what this carbon we are electro positive so this go on attack like this i will be getting a product like this what is the product that is r c h here it is c l and here it is c o minus if it goes like this this will go like this okay and here also i will have c l here it is o and h here it is h because of donation of electron it attain positive charge okay are able to understand students because of donation of electron i got positive charge now the thing is the h plus will leave on its own because to neutralize this so if the, if we want to satisfy with the electrons the h plus will goes off okay like why this will be getting neutralized and the very important thing is the cl minus is a better leaving group it will also leave on its own but it the bond is getting break it gives it positive charge okay now this negative charge and this positive charge will form a bond i'll be getting a product that is r ch here it is cl here c double bond o and here it is oh that is what my ultimate product is getting formed my ultimate product is r ch cl co oh are you able to understand students i think so you understand very well thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for watching thank you once again thank you thank you for learning share and like this video